Depending how calcium presents, the number of IVL pulses to achieve an optimal result are different. When the IVL balloon expands in eccentric calcium, the emitter moves away from the calcium, since the soft tissue is not constrained. The farther the emitter is from the calcium, the less energy is able to reach it, so more pulses are needed. While each pulse's energy is identical, shock waves crack concentric lesions quicker due to the rigid ring of calcium that traps the energy, leaving no other paths to dissipate other than cracking. Waves also reflect off calcium and impact the calcium in the opposite wall. In eccentric lesions, most of the waves pass through the soft intima, and there is negligible benefit of reflecting waves. Regardless of how much energy is required, the efficacy of the shock waves is evident under angiography.